Five centuries past, the legend tells of one Spanish explorer, Ponce de Leon, who sailed the distant land in search of a mysterious fountain believed to restore youth to anyone who drank of its waters. Today we call that distant land Florida. And though there is no magical fountain of youth, we call those places where azure waters flow from the ground, springs. Long ago, a worldwide flood caused huge amounts of water to seep down and pool below the Earth's surface. In Florida, we call this underground reservoir the Floridian Aquifer. It feeds all the springs and gets the water from rain. Rain falls down and seeps through the bedrock into the limestone, replenishing the aquifer and traveling through the underwater passages for many long years. Springs are that point where water from the aquifer finds its way up through crevices and holes. Over 700 springs flow into Florida's major rivers. To explore the springs fully, we must go below the surface. Springs have sustained man and beast for centuries. The remains from shellfish harvesting litter the floor of this spring, evidence of earlier inhabitants. These natural blue pools became popular sources of recreation as roads and railroads were built around them. Springs are classified by the volume of water they discharge on a scale of 1 to 8, with the first magnitude being the largest. Most first magnitudes are fed by a huge single vent, but Rainbow Springs, one of Florida's largest discharging spring systems, is made up of countless tiny seeps, caves and sand boils that pour forth an average of 493 million gallons a day. These various outlets continue down the Rainbow River for 5.7 miles before joining the Withlacoochee. The river boasts an abundance of wildlife. Spring water can gush out in many different ways, but one of the most small and beautiful ways is through sand boils. Here at Fern Hammock Springs is one of the largest, several meters in diameter. Sand boils occur when water, under pressure, wells up through a bed of sand suspending the particles. Fern Hammock Springs contains more than 25 sand boils, and together with its sister spring, Juniper, they create the Juniper Creek, a rare and beautiful seven-mile meandering run through unique subtropical woodland. Because of its remote location, a mill house was built to generate electricity.
the St. John's. Florida's longest river is fed by springs large and small. Seeps in the limestone trickle downhill until they meet the river, while gigantic flows of fresh water make their own rivers that eventually join the St. John's. One of the largest and most famous springs that flows into the St. John's is Blue Spring. Many divers are attracted to its 125 foot deep hole. In the winter, hundreds of West Indian manatees swim up the spring to use it as a warm winter sanctuary. The St. John's spring-fed waters are home to a variety of wildlife. Baby anhingas play by their nests atop the trees. A purple gallinule family walks among the leafy water lettuce. Their long legs help them to keep their balance and avoid sinking into the water. But the St. John's is not the only spring-fed river in Florida. The wild Sewanee and its tributary, the Santa Fe, located in northern Florida, are fed by countless springs before they empty into the Gulf of Mexico. The Itchatuckney is a famous spring river that eventually joins the Santa Fe and is fed by nine springs. In the summer, hundreds of tubers float down the six mile run, taking in the wild Florida scenery. Among the abundance of wildlife present in the Florida Springs, the American alligator, common in most Florida waterways, is a regular spring resident, despite widely accepted belief that springs are too cold for these predators. At Fernhammock Spring, an alligator patrols its territory amongst the limpid blue waters. Alligators must live where there is food such as fish and fish must live where there is oxygen to breathe. This school of mullet seems to favor the headspring pool of Silver Glen. Many springs are unique sanctuaries where both fresh and saltwater fish meet. The loggerhead musk turtle is an example of a unique creature living in a unique springs ecosystem. This 5 inch turtle need not rise to the surface for air as it skims across the sun dappled headspring pool. It absorbs oxygen through its skin and needs all that it can get because near the spring head there is relatively low oxygen, so plants do not always thrive. Some plants, however, grow in spite of these nutrient-deficient environments providing shelter and a pleasing appearance. Hillgrass is abundant in many springs, and algae carpets almost any surface it can find.
One of the more mysterious geological wonders associated with springs in Florida are sinkholes. These vertical shafts are created when limestone collapses due to acidic rainfall, evidence of an underground waterway. Catfish Hotel Sink at Manatee Springs State Park drops 90 feet down and is covered with a thin glaze of duckweed, giving it a swamp-like appearance. The springs are truly jewels of Florida and provide a valuable natural resource, fresh water, as well as recreational experiences that are unsurpassed. The stories and legends continue with each generation. It is mankind's responsibility to enjoy these beautiful creations and protect them. <laughs>